Yo, what it do? Sports in the trenches, you already know. Podcast show with your boy Zay. You already know. Uh, today brought to you like we just trying to let you know what's up with the play in, with the playoffs out. You know what I mean? Obviously, you see Lakers beat Timberwolves, right? And a lot of people saying the toss is Timberwolves, saying the toss is uh, Lakers. The Lakers come out swinging like that with the Memphis, they're gonna lose, right? And they should have, they should have lost that game. They saying Timberwolves blow that game, right? Uh, that's bullshit. I mean, I just feel like Lakers sometimes do get comfortable when they understand that damn, we might win this game, man. They at home, everything kind of swinging their way now. They was just two ten, zero thirty two percent, whatever. They saying they not gonna win. Is it's a lot that goes in with that, bro. With that being said, they got it done. No matter how they got it done, they got it done. So now we got a break, which they needed a break. Uh, especially LeBron James, AD, he raised that foot. All on this, need to recalibrate their mindsets and push for that Brown, push for that trophy. We need Malik Beasley to step out whatever work he in. He need to push, uh, persevere, position himself to be best shooter ever, man. It's like. You got to look at it like this, right? This is an opportunity for y'all to go in history, bro. Like 2 and 10, 32%, all that shit is like history, right? This season, nobody believed that Lakers could do it, right? So this is what should go in your mind when you attacking this shit. Going, going for this goal. Going, we're going to watch it. No, we're going to remember this moment. We're going to go back and say, man, y'all remember Lakers with 2 10, bro? You know when LeBron James was with the team that he had with Westbrook, then that's have that season that we just didn't be, like we gonna this shit gonna go in the here shit. The year that he broke number one all time scoring record at that, bro. So you know this gonna be in here shit. You know how much is on LeBron James line right now? His mind is only on championship, bro. Like he just broke number one. So you gonna think his mentality like, bro, this shit, here shit. If I get the chip, this shit really gonna mean something. 210, boom, 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 everybody was like, he stat sheet fit. You know how much, bro. All right, so just watch them. Just watch them. You know what I'm saying? We're not saying they're going to win it all, but this the goal is for me. They got to win the championship bus, man. If they don't win it this shit, they got to get rid of, like, redo that shit, right? Do something different. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. That's how I feel like some of the players on Lakers look at it. We need all of them to look at it like that. With that being said, I like how Thunder played. Thunder played calm. Played calm. Oh, why didn't get it rolling? PG. He didn't start getting it rolled. Alexander ain't start getting it rolled until like third, second half. He, he's just different, bro. That boy gonna be a superstar, bro. He's going to be a superstar, bro. Like he's going to be a superstar, bro. Like we talk all that hype with. John Moran and how John Moran is raw. He's the he's the hype. Alexander is really that though, bro. And it ain't not his game so smooth. And he get the job done, bro. Like people talk, you talk, you get it done. And all that hype shit ain't weird player, bro. That's a superstar, bro. Like why you know he ain't got all that hype, man. I don't want to be the biggest boss off. He don't want that shit. I just want to play ball. Burns, I ain't putting you in that no man. That's the type of superstar out of that. Give me, bro. He ain't got to put the light on me, man. I'm still gonna do what I got to do. And he got the job done. They, 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 they manhandled. Uh, <laughs> they definitely manhandled Pelican, bro. I mean, Brandon Ingram almost beat y'all, bro. I mean, it's just a certain call when he got when Brandon Eagle hit that three pointer. It was a foul. That's supposed to have been a tie game though. Brandon Eagle a superstar too, bro. Like in the, all these, like I'm looking at, like five years now, like he's older, but that couple years I think he an all star to me. I ain't gonna say a superstar. I'm, I give him like peaking that all star level. You know what I mean? Because the boy get the job done. It's still some shit he need to work on too to become that. But a lot of your age is setting, so it's like. Don't wait too late, but you then again, who give us fuck when you putting up buckets the way you putting up buckets? To me, you know what I mean. Bang, manhandling almost won the game. McCollum didn't he didn't even see he was there, bro. That's why I feel like Portland got rid of him. It's just, bro, bro, retire, bro, retire, bro. 
and just go do what you good at doing when it comes to sports. I ain't saying you suck in basketball. I just think basketball, when some people, I grow that shit, bro. When you start to see that you don't understand, like Biggie Cousins was saying, when you start to see the game is different, you understand right now. It's not about retiring. It's about going back and recalibrating this shit, like restarting this shit, get your mind back. And you got to adjust. Like LeBron James adjusted. That's why he never retired, because he always adjusting. Every time the game changes, it can change rapidly. He adjusted. So if you're not on that point, you got to go get your mind right. Get back in some small leagues or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Overseas, come back, man. Get your shit together, bro. Because, shit, you got to adjust. You got to adjust with the time, bro. You know what I mean? Or right, just step out. So McCollin, man, you got to do more. If you expecting, y'all expecting to go to the playoffs, you got to do more, bro. It's just like you just there, bro. It's just for real. Like, Brandon Ingram just manhandled that shit by itself. So, if he didn't want that game, that shit would have been bad. Brandon Ingram. And I feel like Tim Woods, Brandon Ingram, it's going to be a good game. I, don't, I ain't going to say who's going to win, but Brandon Ingram come out swinging at the beginning, like how he came out and throughout the whole game. Boy, it's going to be a tough game. And this is the same with Cat. And this same with uh, Elvis, too. Elvis, Elvis looking to have an excellent game, too, bro. So, this the play in, bro. It's a playoff. Lakers got seven seed. Lakers playing Memphis for you already saying Memphis going to be uh, what you call all them taking shots at them. Dylan Brooks taking shots at Burns James. I, I won't mind beating the Burns James in the game seven. I mean, that ain't really taking shots. This is really him playing. I'm playing the Burns James. It's a battle test for us. So we beat them. Why? Why, boy, boy. It's a lot of teams we can beat. So it's like vice versa. So if I see that, Lakers looking at Lakers. Lakers said we beat Memphis. No, we going to get tested with Memphis. We beat them. Why? We get ready for Golden State. Bro. This shit about to go down, bro. This is how I'm looking at it, bro. I'm thinking game since the game seven. Don't take these boys to seven, bro. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I don't want to say sweet because your drama rank coming. He going to find a way to go, but Lakers got a link. You got a link. But then you got other players like Jackson. You pull up range three-pointer. So it, it's just a lot. Just do your game study when it comes to playing Memphis. But we got we got to Sunday. Memphis been out for a week. Shane done been out a few days. They got to Sunday. They're going to be an amazing showdown. So that's that's pretty much the, the, the sports in the trenches, man. I don't really want to go into depth what's going on because what's going on is amazing, man. Like, the play ins, we just look now. Miami lost. I, I said they were going to lose. I said they didn't want to play Boston. I said that. I, I felt Miami did not want to play Boston. They just them, <laughs> you feel me? Cause it's they ain't had no fight with Lana, bro. That's for big shot, Lana. You know what I mean? They, they ain't start playing to like towards the end. So I, I said that in my last podcast. I kind of figured they ain't going. You know what I mean? But you gotta play Milwaukee, so they feel like they got a better chance warming up with Milwaukee than one than going against Boston, right? Boston, this is the first season, first series, so they giving the big shit out there. So Miami, Lana beat Miami, right? On my side, Atlanta beat Miami, right? That's cool. Uh, you got Bulls was getting beat, and they came back and beat the shit out of uh, Toronto. Toronto was pretty decent, but they ain't. Bulls, what's up, bro? Exactly me playing at 11. He ain't showing no sportsmanship when they partners trying to give him handshakes and fire. You know, I don't win that shit, man. They win this fucking game. What you need to do is step the fuck up and win this game. Him, Will, um, Atlas. Uh, damn, DeMar DeRozan, all the boys just started playing at a level yesterday. It was crazy, bro. Like, they was like, we got to get this win, bro. That shit was playoff basketball. And whatever, if that, if, if that, if that boy don't do that, man, that they mean leaving. Whoever he go to, bro, he, it's different, bro. Whoever Lillard go to is different, bro. Whoever Kyrie go to is different. Like, this all season coming up is amazing. Like this whole situation that going from the championship all the way to the all season about to be this about to be the greatest year ever when it comes to NBA, bro. Like Lakers have to be in there. That's the ratings, bro. I'm just saying. Like we, we just talking about like an overall picture, bro. Like Bulls tough, bro. Like so, Bulls got to play who first? Milwaukee. Who boys got to play Milwaukee? And he he trying to play Boston, right? Or he trying to play Milwaukee. Uh, Bulls trying to play Milwaukee. So one of them, yeah, and I don't play what's called, what's called. So it's like Miami got to play Toronto. So whoever out there win, going to win, going to play who they play, right? For the, uh, what seed it is. So this shit about to be crazy, bro. 
it's about to be crazy, bro. Like, Bulls got an opportunity to beat them balls, bro. Because they defense, they they got shooters, they got people putting up the buckets. So, I, I ain't gonna lie, keep it watching on uh, in Sports in the Trenches podcast so you already know we lit. So, always, you know what I mean? Like, hit the notification button, the subscription, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. <clears throat> it's right there. So, you can continue to get more updates. And when I drop, when I'm dropping anything, I'm dropping, right? This, I'm so excited about this playoffs. It's just, this is so much to talk about. So, it's so less to talk about. It's like, enjoy it. Watch it. It's about to be the best show you ever get or entertainment. It's about to be beautiful play, basketball. It's like they playing with their lights on the line. It's like how this high Bulls play. Bulls play with their lights on the line, and you seen them do amazing shit yesterday, bro. Like, they, they just on a different level how they were playing. So, they, with that being said, that's how Zach Levine was about Hey, make sure, you, make sure you follow me. Make sure you follow all my social media sites. Follow all our social media sites. Make sure you check out Zero Live. You already know what time it is, man. And we got we got you coming. This is Sports and Intrinsic Podcast Show. One of the best podcast shows ever. You know what I mean? Amazing, because we in the trenches with it. Always. We always in the trenches with it. And, uh, and we, love, we love what we do, bro. And we just excited. So, peace. I'll be back, though.